I'm sure I'm not alone when I hear myself say that getting the family together for a weekend meal is just not that easy these days. Growing up, my weekends were full of big family meals, and that's an experience as a mom I want to recreate for my family. So today, I've managed to get them around the table at the same time. With a nod to Argentina, I'm going to make a simple but mouth-wateringly delicious beefy grilled short ribs. The thick-cut ribs tenderize and pick up a smoky char on the grill so they come off juicy and flavorful. My tangy tomatillo salsa, flavored with garlic, cilantro, and lime juice with a mild jalapeno heat, is the perfect partner to punch up those meaty flavors. Next, I'm going to serve some ever-so-lightly sautéed spicy collard greens to round out my little grill fest. Finally, I'll seal the deal with a fabulously fragrant and rich chocolate chile cake with flavor inspiration from Mexico. So let's crank up that grill, babies, because it's going to get hot in my kitchen today. I've already finished prepping a springform pan for my chocolate chile cake. I've lined the bottom with a little bit of parchment, and I've wrapped foil around the edge because this is going to sit in a bain-marie in a water bath, and I don't want the water seeping into the springform. I'm going to start off by making a syrup for my chocolate chile cake. And this syrup actually smells so great that um, I cheat every once in a while and use it as potpourri. People walk into my house and it's like, wow, what is that smell? I'm gonna show you now. Let's start off with a cup of brewed espresso. And to that, I'm going to add some brown sugar which I love because it has wonderful molasses and caramel notes. It just, you could use regular sugar, but why, when this offers so much more? And that's why I like the dark instead of the light brown sugar, because it really packs in the flavor. And it's got a nice spongy tackiness, a little moist. So one cup packed. And then, I'm going to hit that with some cinnamon stick. Three or four, depending on how big your, your cinnamon sticks are. These are kind of on the short side, so let's do four. If they were a little longer, I'd go with three. And I'm gonna let that simmer until it gets really fragrant and syrupy, about 20 minutes. Keep your eye on it. You know, when I was growing up, my mom used to make short ribs. My dad was a fireman and we loved meat at my house. But when she made short ribs, they were always short ribs that were braised. Last year, I went to Argentina. Wow, almost lost my ribs. Last year, we went to Argentina with my family, and we tasted short ribs that were grilled, not braised. And I was like, hmm, I have my concerns about this because, quite frankly, a short rib is not a tender cut of meat. Well, I went to the butcher, and he told me that these short ribs cut not lengthwise, but across, is called a tira de asado. Literally, it's a strip for the grill. And it cuts the fibers short, which actually, in fact, helps tenderize the meat. So you can see you, you cut across, you have all those ribs instead of one long rib. And they're really, really flavorful and beefy and delicious. And I'm going to uh, take care of these now. What I like to do is marinate them a little bit with vinegar because the vinegar brines up the meat and plumps up the meat cells and that's really, really great. And it's a great way also to draw the salt into the meat and I'm all about that. We want flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on a sheet tray. We're gonna salt and pepper them. And then I'm gonna show you another trick that I love. So we went to Argentina, and we went uh, on what they call a day trip uh, to a uh, estancia farm. And when we went, we were met by actual gauchos, you know, in full regalia on horses in the whole nine yards. And uh, they had grills, I'm not kidding. They were larger than this, than the island here in my house. It, it just packed with chorizos and morcillas, the blood sausage of Argentina, and these tira de asado, the grilled short ribs. I never ate so good in my life, I, I swear. It was just unbelievable, so delicious. Now, when, when my kids hear me say barbecue, it's not just barbecue, it's asado. We do it Argentina style. And I have some ground pepper. Really pat that in there. And then I'm gonna switch these up. This little vinegar trick 
This is an amazing trick. You can use this with chicken, with pork, with beef. It really, really helps to tenderize the meat and draw the flavors in. I love it. And it adds a nice little note uh, to, your, um, to your meats, to your protein. With fish, probably not so much, unless you're making ceviche. And I'm gonna hit this with just a little bit more uh, vinegar, because I really want that to plump up. And my syrup is doing beautifully. Oh, it smells wonderful in here now. Okay. Let me get some plastic wrap on that. And we're gonna set these aside for about 30 minutes. If you're gonna do it for longer than that, I would say put it in the fridge, but we're gonna get to these in short time. So let's just cover these up lightly and set them back here. How many times have you gone to the store and bought bottled tomatillo sauce? Too many times, right? You are not gonna believe how easy it is to make fresh tomatillo sauce. I have my tomatillos, I have a lime, garlic, jalapeno, and onion. It's gonna make you crazy when you see how easy this is. But before we get to that, I wanna show you the star of this recipe is the, the tomatillo, which is a relative of the gooseberry, like a giant gooseberry. When you peel them, they feel tacky. And if they do, you wanna rinse them off. Peel the skins off. I wanna tell you, you can wait until the cows come home. These are not gonna turn into red tomatoes. So I have some uh, prep to do, and when I get back, I'm gonna show you how insanely simple, fabulous tomatillo sauce is. And um, we're gonna get to building that chocolate chile cake, too. MySpace Video and Food2.com present the first annual summer challenge. Create a short food film and upload to MySpace.com slash Food2. Winner receives a trip to New York City to debut their film at the Wine and Food Festival in partnership with Delalo. For more details, go to MySpace.com slash Food2. Sometimes your day is complicated enough. When you get home, keep things simple. Goya Extra Virgin Olive Oil, imported from Spain. Who thought such taste could be enjoyed so easily? If it's Goya, it has to be good. In the 1930s, farmers planted nutrient-rich soybeans to replenish the barren soil of the American Dust Bowl. Today, we take that same historic bean, mix it with fruit, and bake it into soy joy. Big in? Big down, big down. Oh, yeah! You see the simplicity of this? Aaron McCargo Jr. gives flavors a big boost. This is real cooking. Big Daddy's House. The new season premieres tomorrow at 1.30 on Food Network in the Kitchen. Bring the power of nature inside. Greenworks is made with natural plant-based ingredients that clean without harsh chemical fumes and residue. And since they're made by Clorox, they clean with the power you expect. From Clorox comes Greenworks, naturally. And try Greenworks wipes. They're 99% natural and clean tough messes. Every 60 seconds, someone, somewhere, is making the switch to Tempur-Pedic. Now, it's your turn. Call now for your free information kit, including a temper material sample, along with a DVD and catalog. Traditional mattresses use metal springs that can cause pressure points, causing you to toss and turn. Only the Tempur-Pedic mattress automatically adjusts to your body while keeping your spine in perfect alignment. Plus, because Tempur-Pedic doesn't transfer motion, you won't disturb your partner when you get out of bed or shift positions. Best of all, Tempur-Pedic will let you sleep on one of their sleep systems for an incredible 90 nights before you make your purchase decision. If you want the ultimate in comfort, if you wish to get more sleep but can't, it's time you make the switch to Tempur-Pedic. Call 1-800-242-0411 for your free information kit. That's 1-800-242-0411. Call today. This is Food Network in the Kitchen. Okay, well, guess what? My family's all coming over for Sunday dinner today. I have some beautiful short ribs that are marinating that we're going to throw on the grill. They've been marinating in red wine vinegar, salt and pepper. And I just added, oh my goodness, I'm almost embarrassed to say it, three sticks of butter to my beautiful cinnamon and coffee syrup. And that's all done. And I have prep for my tomatillo salsa. I have my tomatillos, I have my one onion, I have one whole 
fat, juicy jalapeno with the seeds and the ribs, but hey, that's baby heat in my house. And I have three cloves of garlic. I have a squish of lime to give it a nice acid note. And I'm gonna dress the whole thing up with a little bit of cilantro, my herb of choice. Okay, watch how easy this is. scrape down the sides because I don't want to miss one little bit of that salsa. This is terrific. That's it. It's done. We're going to bring it over here. I'm going to take my spatula with me. And we're going to set it. Let me take this out in this pot and cook it for about 15, 20 minutes. What I wanna do is cook the water out of the tomatillo. It's gonna turn a beautiful shade of almost olive green and we're gonna cook the water out of it so it's gonna be nice and relishy consistency. Medium heat. Once it starts to perk up a little bit, I'm gonna lower the heat and we'll simmer it. Don't wanna forget to season that. And we'll check the seasoning again after it cools because you know it, it kind of changes flavor, okay? So that's that. I've got some serious egg work to do. And while I'm here, I'm stopping the pantry, pick up some cayenne. I wanna hit this with about a tablespoon. No, not a tablespoon, I take that back, it's a teaspoon. Otherwise, my kids will be running out the door. Give that a little whisk, and it's time for my cinnamon syrup to meet my chocolate. Okay, let's get rid of this. And... I have 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate and four ounces of unsweetened chocolate, and watch this. They're going to start making beautiful music together. And what I want is beautiful, glossy... Hi, Hi guys! Hi, Hi, guys! I'm so happy to see you all! Hi, Davolino! Wow, I didn't even hear you guys come in! We're sneaky like that. <laughs> Oh, nice. Right to the refrigerator. Nice. What's for dinner? Oh, I got, listen, I have tira de asado, and I have, um, I'm making that chocolate cake that you love, that Mexican chocolate cake. Oh, the chili And one. I have, yes, the chili one. Oh, oh well, God, where's, where's Marcus? Oh, it smells oh, so I good. Know, I heard from him. Yeah, have you? Wow. <laughs> okay, I better get cracking. I have some eggs to crack here, eight eggs, and once I have them beaten, I'm gonna add, look at this. Is this gorgeous? Look how glossy and beautiful this is. Once I have those eggs done, I have to beat them into thirds into this chocolate, so I better get to work. Wow, they surprised me. And that's it. That's the last of our eggs into our batter. And here's like the big secret that I've been holding out. That's all there is to this batter. There's absolutely no flour in here. So it's just one ooey gooey, dense, fudgy, chocolatey, cinnamon, coffee mess. Okay, let's go over. I have my prepared springform pan. I'm going to go ahead and just pour that in. Scrape all of that chocolate out. And we're going to take this over to our oven. I have a roasting pan here. I'm gonna put this in the roasting pan. And because it's all that chocolate and eggs, we spend so much time and love on it, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of water, Bain Marie, to take really special care of that chocolate. 375, about an hour. The center needs to be set. And when I get back, I've got collards, I've got grilled short ribs, I've got my family, Jerry and Marky are on the way. All's well with the world. times the flavor. Whoa, made five times easier. It's an all new season with even more incredible recipes. Five ingredient fix. The new season premieres July 25th at 12.30 p.m. on Food Network in the Kitchen. 
It's Macy's One Day Sale Saturday. Get morning specials until 1 p.m. on hundreds of items store-wide. Men's shorts and swimwear now $14.99. Get 60% plus an extra 10% off closeout luggage. Take an extra 30% off already reduced women's swimwear. Our entire stock of seven-piece Jacquard comforter sets just $59.99. Morning specials until 1 p.m. It's Macy's One Day Sale Saturday. That's the magic of Macy's. Introducing Bear by Solo. Created with renewable or recycled materials. Designed for your environment with style and strength. Inspired by the way you live now. Bear by Solo. Inspired by real life. of tagalongs? Sure, I'll take two boxes. How about two million? No, one million. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, you're good. Introducing the new Girl Scouts Tagalong Blizzard at Dairy Queen. Creamy DQ soft serve and real pieces of peanut butter cookies. It's the new year. <laughs> When Pat and Gina get the flavor going. Good food, good friends, great fun. Everybody shows up to the table. Woo! Down home at the Neely's. All new episode this morning at 11 on Food Network in the Kitchen. Mil Every new 2010 Hudson Toyota rolled back to 2005 prices. The number one volume Toyota dealer in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut goes retro in the metro through Monday night. Price rolled back. Every new 2010 Hudson Toyota in stock rolled back to 05 prices. The savings rock. HudsonToyota.com. Every new 2010 on sale with 05 prices. Roll back savings. HudsonToyota.com. Call, click, or rock on by. Hudson Toyota in Jersey City. HudsonToyota.com. Want to get two months of home phone service absolutely free? Time Warner Cable's three-day sale ends tomorrow. Switch to Time Warner Cable's unlimited home phone service today and get two months free. free. Get unlimited calling to the U.S., Canada, and Puerto Rico. Keep your existing phone number and enjoy tons of great calling features like call waiting, caller ID, and three-way calling. All for just $33 each month for the first year. Order now and get the first two months free. free. Call 1-877-881-5356. Sale ends tomorrow. Hey, Mama. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. Played a couple of rounds. That's, that's true. I was wondering where you guys were. Oh, we had a blast. Uh, Mark was great. Yeah? Yeah, not bad. Yeah? Where are the hooligans? The hooligans would be in the hooligan room. Oh, in smells the, so good, Mark. Yeah, thank you, Marky. You know what? Send Twinkie over to give me a hand with some of this. Sure. Everything okay with you? Everything's good? Babe, I poured you some wine. All right, okay. You could, you know what? Just set it, set it over there. Hey, this is nice too. Over here. Yeah, that's good. You I got, I got head. grilled ribs for you. What's up, Mama? Mm. Well, I'll be in here if you need help. Give a yell. So it's Sunday dinner night at Daisy's house, and my crew is home, and I'm happy. I'm happy in my corazón. I've got my beautiful ribs all marinated in red wine vinegar and salt and pepper. Angie's gonna take these beautiful collards that I've made little strips and she's gonna rinse them for me and shake out the water. My tomatillo salsa is looking gorgeous and olive green and we're gonna have a taste of that in a second. And my chocolate chili cake is just about to come out of the oven, so it's all good. So what do you think, Ange? How's it going? I think it's good so far. I'm gonna yeah. put the towel down, get okay. the excess water. Did you finish your homework? Please yes, say yes. I did finish my homework. I got a little bit ahead. You I did? did? I did Tuesday's homework, too. You so. did Tuesday's homework. <laughs> Listen to That sounds like you want something. <laughs> Do I feel a shopping spree coming on or something? Possibly. We'll <laughs> OK. So what can I do? Um, you know what? You can taste that tomatillo salsa for me? Sure. I'm going to get these, the meat on the grill, because this is going to take about six minutes on each side. That's the way Jerry likes the medium rare. Mm. Does it need anything? I know that it's absolutely perfect. Oh, awesome. When you were a little girl, you would always say, a little more salt, a little <laughs> more pepper. And these are just going to, the whole house is going to come alive in two seconds. Wait till they smell this meat in the TV room. Do you want me to set this on the table for you? Um, well, you can spoon it out, and then I we'll see what else I need you to do. Okay. okay? Also, the way that I grew up 
eating collards. Collards were slow cooked for a long time with a piece of ham and vinegar and the whole nine yards. I like my collards, I get to my collards today a little differently. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. And to that, I'm going to add some red pepper. How's this look, Mom? That, that looks fabulous. Does it taste good? Yeah, it tastes amazing. Okay. And hold on a second, and, and I'll tell you what I need you to do. Then I'm going to quickly saute my collards until they're bright green but still have tooth. Oh, that's, that meat is smelling heavenly. Doesn't that smell like great? It smells amazing. We're going to add a little sore to our collards. Okay. And this is what you can do for me, Angie. Just give them a little toss okay. every once in a while. I'm going to go over and take a look at that cake. Meat looks good. Salsa looks good. Uh-huh. What kind of cake is it? I got the chocolate chili cake. Oh, my goodness. And I'm going to give this a little jiggle. Yeah, the Ooh, center is nice and firm. And it's sitting in that bain-marie in the water bath that I used to uh, protect the chocolate and the eggs from separating and seizing. And that chocolate cake looks like a million dollars and smells even better. Okay, I just want to, not that I don't trust you, but I want to make sure that this is good. Uh, you know what, I think it needs a little more salt. All right, well, you're the chef, so. <laughs> okay, and you know what you can do now? What can I do? Bring this to the table. Okay. And get the boys to wash their hands. All right. I'm gonna take a look at this meat. And it's coming along nicely. My collards are starting to get a nice, bright, vibrant green. Wash your hands for dinner, okay? Okay. okay. Right, but they still have enough tooth. When I get back, I'll be serving my family a wonderful, delicious Sunday dinner. What do you think? <laughs> I'm excited. Are you looking to jazz up a snazzy meal at the last minute? I'm shaking up that old dinner into something brand new. Perfect in under half an hour. 30 Minute Meals. An all new episode is coming up next on Food Network. This is Cranergy Energy Juice Drink from Ocean Spray. The great taste of cranberries, naturally energizing green tea, and B vitamins. It's a good for you kind of energy that helps you get stuff done. And when your days look like this. You need all the help you can get. Hey, your Wednesday just opened up. Now 40% more Cranergy for your money. Look for our bigger bottle in the juice aisle. Do you have a winning personality? A clear culinary point of view? Do you have what it takes to be the next Food Network star? Go to foodnetwork.com slash star to learn how you can be a season six finalist. Go to foodnetwork.com today. Is your house one big doggy bathroom? Tired of cleaning and replacing carpets and furniture? It's time for the potty patch. Now dogs have a safe place to relieve themselves. No more spots on the carpet, stains on your hardwood, and mishaps on the couch. Watch as we pour a full quart of water right on the potty patch. It disappears, leaving the synthetic grass high and dry. Amazing! The specially scented faux sod has the look and feel of real grass and attracts dogs when it's time for them to go. The elevated turf drains into the base, keeping it odor-free. At the end of the day, just pour out the liquid. It's that easy. My dogs and I hate going out in the cold. The potty patch is the perfect solution. The potty patch is ideal for training puppies. We love Spot, but she was impossible to train. Then we got the potty patch, and it saved our happy home. When dogs are left alone all day, they're going to have an accident or two. I would rush home for work and would still find a mess. There's no surprises with the potty patch. And no more waiting for elevators with a desperate dog. The potty patch is ideal for apartment living and even works outdoors on your patio. Potty patch is the best training aid ever. I've seen it work the very first use. So before you spend a fortune on dog walkers or dog mats that sell for $150 or more, order your potty patch today for just $39.99. Call right now and we'll upgrade your order for free. You'll receive our plush deluxe potty patch made of antimicrobial odor resistant turf, a $60 value. Potty patch is also available in a big dog size. Call now and keep your rugs, floors, and furnishings looking like new. Potty patch, just $39.99. 
Call 1-800-405-7595 to order your potty patch for only $39.99 plus shipping and handling. Call 1-800-405-7595. That's 1-800-405-7595. Call 1-800-405-7595 now. There's the other stuff. And then there's Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. Kraft has more cheese than those other guys. No wonder they call it the cheesiest. Ein is giving you everything you need to make any occasion extra special. And show everybody a really good time. With Ina's help, you'll master casual entertaining at its finest. Barefoot Contessa, the new season premieres next Saturday at 1.30 on Food Network in the Kitchen. Welcome back to Sunday dinner at Casa Daisy. And my ribs are absolutely looking beautiful. Six minutes on each side. They're nice and springy, not too mushy. That's how we like it at Casa Daisy. My mouth is absolutely watering. I'm just gonna give these another little sprinkle of salt, final seasoning. Eric? Yep. Can you give me a hand? Sure. Hi, sweetheart, can you take the Ooh, ribs in? Just be careful, the plate's hot. Thank you. Okay, and my collards are smelling fragrant and beautiful, and I just want to make sure. Perfect salt. Into the plate we go. And these greens, look how bright green they are. And you can see they still have a little bit of tooth. My mouth is watering so delicious. So good. Okay, everything's off here. It's dinner time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Those look perfect. Oh, no, they're, nice. wait till you taste them. They're delicious. You got a little heat there? Or yeah, there's pepper a pepper little pepper. bit of heat. Nice. Okay, yeah, so come on, guys, yeah. dig in. Can I serve you some greens? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Put some greens on the plate. Sure. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, Daddy. He's trying to help. Last right. but not least. Right. Tell me what you think. I like how the edges are crispy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The steak is so tender. Best short ribs I ever ate. Right. All right, some tomatillo. Collards are nice. Yeah. Those collards are great, bro. <laughs> well, I'm glad I got home when I did. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything is phenomenal. You love? You did it again, Mom. Is everybody finished? Mm -hmm. yep. Because That's I hope line. you save some room for dessert. I have one of your favorites. Eric? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you and Dave clean up. And you wanna grab some plates? Sure. Jerry, you relax. I can do that. Thank you. I'm going to the fridge now. I have my big, fabulous chocolate cake that I've been talking about all day. It's chilled and set up absolutely beautifully. I'm going to bring it back. Let's run a knife around the edge just to loosen it up a little bit. And it's not, oh, it's so fudgy. And guys, while you're there, mm -hmm. there's some raspberries in the fridge and some cinnamon ice cream in the freezer. You can grab for me. Okay, this looks good. The moment of truth. I'm gonna pop the spring. What do you think? <laughs> this is 20 kinds of awesome, I'm telling you right now. Okay, I have my platter, and I still have to unmold it from the bottom. So let's move this over here. And this is, uh, this is the reason why I put that parchment, because it's gonna be easy to I shouldn't have said easy, watch. Ah, awesome. See how fat? Ooh, wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, let me get my pitcher, some warm water, um, my knife, the server, and my cake. Make a little room for you. What do you think, oh, guys? Wow. Okay. It's a chili chocolate. Oh. Yes. Pass me plates. Yeah. There you go, huh? Thanks. Oh, thank you. She's making me way back. You know, as wonderful as this meal was, it's nothing in comparison to having all my babies home. Aww. <laughs> You guys, Look, I'm so just gonna cry. No, stop. I'm really glad to have you home. We're glad to be, well, glad here, to be here, Mom. Thanks so much for everything. This is a wonderful meal. Oh, 